Hello friends, this is Adiraj and today we are going to learn how to use this free commerce product subscription extension developed by Pinsol. Subscription based e-commerce models are a win-win for both customers and business owners. The model is simple. Customers sign up for a monthly or recurring payment and the business provides products. As a business owner, offering subscriptions can help your business achieve lower retention spend, greater revenue and order predictability. For customers, the appeal is savings and convenience as stores usually offer better discounts on subscriptions rather than a single purchase. Plus, freedom from the hassle of ordering a product repeatedly is a boon for buyers. With free commerce product subscription extension, our aim is to let the customer subscribe for any product they want with maximum flexibility in delivery schedule and subscription duration. This extension allows the admin to create a subscribable product on the admin end. The product can then be bought one time or as a subscription. Once subscribed, subscription orders will automatically be created for the user at the selected time interval. Now let's move over to the GitHub page for free product subscriptions extension, which you can access by clicking the link available on our YouTube page below this video. Here you will find all of the information regarding our extension. Currently, we are also trying to work to add a Heroku one click deploy button that you can use in future to play around with the extension. Here we have the front end of the free commerce store before us. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have already logged in with the admin credentials. In this tutorial, I would like to show you three things. One, making a product subscribable from the admin backend. Two, subscribe for a product in the front end store from the customer login. And three, manage subscription orders as a store admin from admin login. Here we have the admin backend in front of us. You can access the admin backend by appending admin slash orders to the address of your free commerce store. Now let's go ahead and try to make a product subscribable. I go to the product section and the product subsection within it. Here I select one of the products, let's say Spree Magazine and click edit against it. Here after scrolling down, I check on subscribable and select two of the periods, let's say quarterly and half yearly and click on update. We have successfully marked Spreak Magazine as a subscribable product. Now let's move over to the front end store where we would like to subscribe for this product from the customer login. Here we have the front end of the Spreak Commerce store before us. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already logged in with the customer credential that I created specifically. Now let's go ahead and try to subscribe for Spring Magazine. I click on the product page. On the product page, I select subscription order. Here I select the recurring, recurring delivery interval. I enter the total deliveries and I enter the quantity and I click on subscribe now. In the checkout page, you can always change quantity, recurring delivery interval and total deliveries. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to just click on checkout. Here in the address section, everything seems fine, so I'm going to click on save and continue. In the delivery section, I select one of the shipping methods, let's say UPS 2 day USD and click on save and continue. Here in the payment section, I'm going to go ahead with one of the existing payment methods and click on save and continue. Here in the confirm section, I'm going to check all of the details. Everything seems fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on place order. And we have successfully subscribed for Spree Magazine. Now let's go to the My Account page. Here in the My Account page, you see two sections. One for subscription and the other for one-time orders. 
You can manage all your subscriptions from the My Account page. You can pause, edit or cancel them at any time. Now let's go over to the admin backend where I would like to show you from where the store owner manages the subscriptions. Here we have the admin backend in front of us. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already logged back in with the admin credentials. Now let's go to the subscription section. Here in the subscription section, you see all of the subscription orders with total deliveries, deliveries left and next occurrence possible displayed against every one of them. As a store owner, you can pause, edit or cancel them at any time. Now all of this information is available on the Spree Commerce product subscription page on our website. You can also access the link which is given in the description below. You can also look at some more extensions developed by us at winsol.com slash spreecommerce hyphen extensions. You can also look at some more extensions developed for Spree Commerce at spreecommerce hyphen extensions.com. You can also post your issues on the Spree Commerce Slack marking me at the rate Adhiraj. That is A-D-H-I-R-A-J. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.